All right, good afternoon, good morning, good evening, whenever you shall be listening to this. So we are moving on to our second leash. As you see, I have my slip lead and my recall leash. So what I'm gonna show you today is a motivator for Miss Runa here. A stay, release, and come command, but also engaging her play style, what comes very natural to her. So we're gonna engage with her. Oh, she says I wanna get the cactus. So she has on two leashes here. She has on her recall leash and just her regular walking leash, my all-time favorite leash right here from PetSmart, 12 bucks, had it for like five years. Um, just as a fail safe here, but I wanna get her motivated and playing. Oh yeah. Get her focused on me. Go get it. You wanna let her succeed. You wanna let her feel confident and boost her confidence. So we're in a pretty low stimuli area here. We're outside, so it's a start. So the goal that you're gonna to wanna to go for is never to overwhelm yourself or overwhelm her. Meaning, don't go to um, Levy Park on a Saturday at noon or somewhere really busy, um, wherever it is you may go. There used to be this uh, park in Montrose I'd go to a lot with these water sprinklers on Dunlap. Um, I used to like that place a lot when I lived over there. That's it. So what I'm doing right now, what I'm talking about right now, is just a motor van. A good way to get her to work, to engage, and to build her confidence. Go get it. Outside, okay? She loved this uh, Consuela the Cacti toy that I got from Barkbox as well as this toy. Um, but I want you to use these motivator toys only in a scenario. Come on. Only in a scenario whenever you are going to be able to engage her. And whenever you really want to be able to uh, have her come special toy for the time being. You know, this can be at home, uh, an everyday home toy, but I want you to find a special home toy <laughs> that can get her the motivator. So, what I want to do is I want to start off with a little recall now. Come. Good. Good. So now I have her engaged with me, rather than focusing on these surroundings, because when we are walking through in a big open space, you're going to need a slip lead because it's going to hone her in. Otherwise, this big wide open space <laughs> Uh, this big wide open space, she's gonna run uh, and kind of try to take a mile, I guess, is the way I'm looking at it. She's gonna break her boundaries. So, so she's engaging here with this play in this public space. I can start with a drop. Good. You see, she's got that. And I can work on my luring as well. So you're gonna see. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah, you got it. You got it. Good girl. Yep. You're seeing how she's gonna be able to build upon these skills. Right now she's looking for the treat that we just dropped. Here you go, love. So sometimes mishaps happen, bloopers happen. Um, but what this is gonna do and what you guys are gonna be able to focus on with her. Hey, up. Remember the puppy push-ups I showed you? Yes. So see, now she's just with me right here outside. And I have this recall leash to be able to step on it if she ever bolted. She's not gonna get past 20 feet of me. You know, and I don't think she would for um, y'all two either. So what I want to do, come on. So what you're seeing is the motivator. You're seeing her take the skills that she learned yesterday and applying them outside. And then there's a few rules with recall that we're going to discuss. Heel. Yes, yes, yes. You see this backing up? Remember I was talking about that being a big confidence booster? Good. This right here is something, the trainer that works for me and my company, uh, showed me that was really great. So it's something like this. Come, 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 come. Yes, 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 yes. Good. Yes. Good. So this right here is the beginnings of recall. So the thing is, is if it's late night, outside, at a dog park, anywhere, and your dog's not on a recall leash or doesn't have perfect recall already, they're not going to come when called. So I'm going to really, uh, I'm going to really encourage both to choose your moments when you ask her to come with call. You're gonna need eye contact. Runa, touch. Runa, touch. Yeah, see how it's a little slower? Pretty still good. I mean, still pretty good. I'm kind of, uh, you know, impressed by that. But I want you to just say it once, okay? So I'll show you how to activate that. You can either use your motivator that we discussed a minute ago to get her attention. Remember, this is a special toy. So this is a time when we really need to focus on this toy 
it's not something that she has every day. So when it comes out, she's ready to work, she's ready to focus, she's ready to engage. Good leaving. Okay, release. So you can use release, you can use come. I use release uh, when we're sitting on walks, um, when we're sitting down. Sit. So normally you're gonna see good stay. That's gonna mean that she thinks she can break. So let's see how she does. She's just sitting close. This means she's very relaxed, she's very confident. And then every time, yes, I'm rewarding eye contact. So something I learned with Rigby, yes. Something I learned with Rigby is to trust them, to give them the space. Oh, she's going a little too fast. Oh, mamas. And luckily it's a beautiful day in Houston. I mean, I'm so happy. So happy for this. So, so essentially what I'm gonna do is with that slow response time that y'all were talking about, trust her, wait her out. Trust your command, trust your bond with her and trust yourself as a handler. I got your back. You're gonna be able to do all this fun stuff. So, uh, okay, release. See, see how that works? All it takes is a little bit of body blocking. Yes. And then confidence boosting when you do body block, okay? Just like that. Go get it. So what that does is that boosts her up. It boosts her up. Come on, Runa. Yeah, she says she's gonna come under the bench. She's gonna come under the bench. Boosting her confidence while also placing those boundaries on her. And not to dominate, not to have an authoritative uh, attitude towards her, but for her safety and for her balance and her happiness as a dog. This way we can really focus and hone in on her skill. So you see the box spotlight that I made that I discussed yesterday. See how we're keeping it outside and how she's been working on that just as I'm walking around the house. So as she's going from your house, Cookie, to your house, Amanda, I want both of y'all with that nice change of space, which can be a good thing for dogs if you structure it the way that I'm sure y'all are, is to walk around both of y'all's homes with her in with this little spotlight in mind, just in the easiest times of your day. Just going to get a glass of water, just going up to get a snack, whatever it is. So then, I got her eye contact now, huh? and I have my treat, okay? The treat is the motivator, the toy is the motivator. So since she's just learning, I have both of my motivators out here. And what I'm working on are some pretty easy treats. Easy on her stomach. This is uh, freeze-dried beef, and these are what call, are called Charlie Bear treats. So what those Charlie Bear treats are, they're basically like if you were and I were eating goldfish or something like that. Yes! See that pregnant pause there? Teaching her how good this feels. I mean, the wind is blowing. I mean, what, what more could you ask for? We got an awesome dog here. A beautiful day. Sunshine and green. Here comes a cop car blazing by, so startling. Yes. I reward her for looking back at me. Good. Good. And I know she's gonna do great mantras with all those sounds. She's incredibly confident. This is only going to boost her confidence. But she's gonna need practice on this. This is something that y'all can do together or individually. This is how you replicate that. So, she knows to come, so from now on, let's make her word touch, or, you know, I, I don't know. Touch kind of sounds a little strange to me, but you can either use touch, come, or tap, are the ones that I would use, are the ones that come kind of But really for us, it's all about the body language. Yes! Good shake off, girl. Yeah, good shake.
that way to park. Yes. So, she essentially is getting a release work. I'm going to talk a little more during our train lesson, which will probably be out here too, about tricking her with a release word. Using words like recipe. Um, box on Amazon this is an 18 or 20 footer I'm not exactly sure either way I have a neon green so I can spot it and see it easily and there's no way she could get away from this no way no way so we're gonna sign off here in just a second this is something that's incredibly important to me it's pretty much one of the most important things as far as her basic obedience goes and as, the, as far as the bonding process goes now I know that you guys already love her to pieces I do too it's Incredibly simple to love her. Really, nothing easier <laughs> than loving an awesome dog. Um, but what, but what I want her to be able to do through all of this is uh, to bond with you guys, to bond with both of you. Having that change of environment can be incredibly productive if you know how to structure it. Which this is what this board train is going to do. It's going to set y'all up perfectly for this. Part. So let's go for another heel. use her kibble, okay, for this. Touch. I love it. I love this dog. Okay, I'm pumped. I've had three cups of coffee. We're going to hang out and play some more and just kind of relax and listen to some music and train some more. So I'm going to sign off and I'll talk to y'all later. Wow, 12 minutes long. What an awesome dog. Now, you know that's a good lesson then.